today. From CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. It's the NFC Wild Card Round on EA Sports. Seahawks taking on Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the Pacific Northwest, the home of the 12s, as it's called, Century Link Field in Seattle. Today we continue on at Wild Card Weekend with a great NFC matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Seattle's first go on offense, forthcoming, and under center, of course, Russell Wilson. And what a comfort zone for this team because they've got a guy leading them that's not only played well in the playoffs, but he's won a Super Bowl, too. And you know how much experience counts in this league in the postseason. Anything a defense throws at him, it won't frazzle him at all. He'll be aware of it, ready to take advantage of it. Let's see if his team is at the same level. On first down, Wilson. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Brings up second and ten. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. They go screen pass to Hyde. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the 35 yard Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And he's going to go to him back at the 40. Marcus Davenport in there to get him. It's a loss of five. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. That's caught by Hollister. And down inside the 15 he goes. 11 more on that one, and another first down. That's another Seahawks first down. They run it with Carson, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He was brought down. Nigel Bradham brings him down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. At the Saints, 14-yard line. They'll toss it out to Carson. And they get 
get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Brings up third down and nine. They go play action with Wilson. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Every possession in the postseason magnified, and look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit, so every point is precious. Saints trot onto the field behind the veteran right arm of Drew Brees, a former Purdue Boilermaker who entered the league back in 2001. And when you think of the career of Drew Brees, you think of the Super Bowl championship that he brought New Orleans, and what a job he did in reigniting this city's passion for football. But since then, it's been a string of tough losses in the playoff despite incredible performances in the regular season. Could this be the last go for Drew Brees? 42 years old on January 15th. Could this be his last playoff run? If so. Looking for Sanders and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, you're already down on the scoreboard, and now, Charles, you go out there, very first play, throw the interception. That defense, they're going to have to bow up. Yeah, and let's see how they handle this, because we always talk about reverting back to what you practice. Well, you practice these situations. It's called sudden change. You don't expect to be out there this fast, but you are. Do you go out there with poise, or do you go out there with panic? Panic could get you scored on again. Brings up second and three. On second down now, it's Carson. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at Mario Davis on the tackle. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Here's Carson. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll move the chains. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. Seven at the 15-yard line. Now it's Carson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. On the carry. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But just... And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between let them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Saints, nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And one thing we haven't pointed out yet, probably should, you got a dome team on the road, January, cold weather. How tough is that, or is that something that really shouldn't come into play? Well, it shouldn't come into play, but let's face it, if you've been a dome team all year and used to controlled environment, you need to get yourself outside a little bit for practice during the week, and that's what most of these teams do, because just because they play in a dome doesn't mean they don't have bad weather outside to work in. So they can do that, get their guys acclimated, and then that way, it takes it all. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Quentin Dunbar with a pick. And they are going to set up... Up at the 32-yard line. 
Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdown. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That's a gain of three. It's third and seven. On third down, Wilson escaping the pressure right. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. Bottom line, he's got to figure things out. He's completed three passes, but two of them have been to the wrong team so far. And when we talk about the best quarterbacks, we're usually talking about touchdown to interception ratio, aren't we? And two to one is acceptable, but the top line guys, three to one or better, is what they're looking for. Now we're talking about interceptions versus completions. That's not a ratio should ever be in any discussion. From the 24, Breeze. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's third down. And two yards. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that's caught by Smith. And he is going to have a Saints first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Hill on first down. He's got this to his running back time on Gumbry. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Oh, design run for their wide out. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. First down, Breeze. And a quick throw here, that's complete. 
And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Three yards the game there, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to push your receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Running it with a fullback, Burton. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion. And defensively, pure frustration. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A shotgun handoff. This is Murray now. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Hill going to keep it on the option. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Taysom Hill scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Saints, if they convert the extra point, they'll have the lead. I'd have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because at his age, with his speed, or should I say lack thereof, the only rushing touchdowns I would expect are on quarterback sneaks. But here, he found all of his guys covered. He said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the touchdown, I don't know what will. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. This is Carson. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. On the carry. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. from just shy of midfield. Wilson, a quick target here, complete to Metcalf. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter.